Well, the st thing's starting to look more and more like the Reliant, I'm pleased to say. It's coming out quite cool. I spent heaps of time on it today, um, most of the afternoon actually, uh, doing airbrushing, masking, uh, and even a little bit of uh, paint brushing. Uh, the first thing I did was the bridge dome. Uh, and uh, what I did was um, I did I added that blast mark first and then uh, after I shot a little video for it and put it up on YouTube I realized oh crap I have to paint the top dome silver uh, so all I did was I just went over with a citadel color uh, and thinned down with a bit of water and painted the uh, silver dome on and the rest of the bridge details and um, today I went back over the, the blast mark with uh, the Tamiya dark iron and some masking tape and restored the effect um, uh, this green colour uh, up around here is light sea grey uh, brushed on actually because um, I couldn't It's these are, these are too small man to mask off so I just use a paintbrush and light sea light sea grey <coughs> to me excuse me uh, thinned down with a bit of water and brushed on and that tan colour is I think it's just straight deck tan and the reason it looks quite washed out is because it's it's very thin and I uh, I thinned that as well out with a bit of water and just left it like that so it looked in the scale uh, the next thing was uh, I did that last night actually <clears throat> and the first thing I did today was uh, oh, just while I've got the model like this I may as well talk about the pinstriping uh, I did that with uh, Tamiya XF what is it 18, 18 which is field blue uh, th uh, mixed in with a bit of white um, to get it in scale and just use some uh, cheapy roller masking tape. Uh, I just ran out uh, to to mask off those colours and airbrush them on uh, both ends. Uh, use the same colour on uh, the torpedo launchers and on the phaser emitters which go on here which will, will probably be the last thing to be installed on the model because I still have to leave this roll bar off to, to, to put the uh, red pinstriping dec decals down here um, so that's what's up with that um, I've just got the model temporarily on its base just so I can show you these oh and I used the field blue on these areas too um, I just brush painted these these areas because they're just too small. Uh, all the brush painting I did, there, I still have to go. There's a couple of areas I have to touch up. Uh, I did these areas first uh, with Tamiya Dark Iron and the Beside Collectors there, and I did something a little more creative with the airbrush. I masked off the top and sprayed about three quarters of the area with straight across with the Tamiya Dark Iron and left a little bit of the hull color on the bottom. And that gives kind of a more three-dimensional look to it. Um, I'm a big fan of that effect. The first time I used it, and I think it will become standard for me. So I quite like that. Um, now I was these blue areas. I was just going to paint them with uh, this color here which is, I don't remember, it's it's a grey of some description uh, ocean grey I think and I was just going to do all the trim and all the highlights that colour too but I had a look at the photos of the studio model and the studio model, these trim areas are like a crazy light blue and um, same with the uh, same with the shuttle bays too a 1000 scale model I thought that would be a little bit too intense and uh, as I said in I think the first video, um, our second video, sorry, I wanted a more subdued, scaled look to the colours instead of a studio accurate um, look. I 
you might find more on a larger model. Um, so I'm, I'm pretty happy with it. I mean, it looks really, looks quite cool. Uh, now these insert pieces uh, f for here are genius. You paint them and then you slot them in afterwards. Really, really cool idea. It's the same with the uh, the torpedo launchers up here. Uh, I didn't have a problem with them except for the one on the front. It actually snapped in half uh, when I was putting it in. And uh, when that happened, I uh, screwed up a little bit of the paint and uh, knocked one of these seams loose. So I'm going to have to address that at some stage. So what I decided to do with that was just um, put a little bit of weathering across it with the dark iron. And um, just sort of leave it be. Uh, these are the in more insert pieces uh, that I've just decided to leave on the tree. Uh, we got uh, beside collectors on the front and other phaser cannons. Um, and uh, when I said before that um, I wish my neighbours would be quiet when I'm doing these. <laughs> when uh, I said before that I used uh, medium, no, I said I field blue, I think. XF18, I actually mean medium blue. XF18 to do all the, the trim and the uh, these phaser cannons are all the same colour. Um, so I'd clear that up in case somebody makes a boo boo. Now these these phaser cannons I'll probably leave on right until the end. And these beside collectors I will be installing pretty soon. I just have to get a hull colour or something on the the inside. Uh, raised details of that and then I can stick those in. Now I've got the model on its side here just so you can see a little a little bit of underneath. Um, and my neighbours are a bit noisy aren't they? Now uh, about the base, I think I'll probably be using an acrylic brick for the base, so a custom base, that I, same as I did for my Enterprise B, which um, I think there will be a video, if I complete a video, that on my channel by the time you see this. Uh, and what I mean by an acrylic brick is just one of these. Uh, my girlfriend works in cosmetics and um, bought me home like 20 of these things, and but unfortunately they have voids in them for products. So what I had to do was um, uh, put some silver on the, on the top. Looks really nice. Uh, looks really good on my Enterprise B model, but I'll probably... I mean, the, the only reason I wouldn't use this is because it's quite large. I mean, it's like the size of the model, so I don't know if that would look that good. But we'll see. That's pretty much it. The model's really, really close to being finished now. Uh, it'll be gloss coat time after I do my touch-up paints and things. I'm really happy with, it, with how it's coming out. really like that battle damage and stuff.